Namaste beautiful yogis. I designed Interval Yoga as a holistic system for mind, body and heart that combines ancient spiritual yoga teachings with high intensity interval training that will get you in the best shape of your life. I have thousands of testimonies from people that have done and followed my classes for years. Come on to my website and read through them. They're extremely inspiring. On my membership, I have 400 classes and right now I'm adding a three month beginner program that can get you into the more advanced classes. I'm also a brand new mom, so I'm offering a lot of tools for new moms, how they can lose weight, get back in shape, feel positive. My membership is the best offer out there on the internet because it offers you classes for every occasion. So come on over to my website, sign up for my membership, and I'll see you on the mat. Namaste. Namaste beautiful yogis. Today I will not be wearing any jewelry because I just received this in the mail and this will be the jewelry for the class. One of my followers is a painter and she sent me this mat and I will link her, uh, her personal page and the website that she works for in the description below because this is just, look at this, it is breathtaking, it is breathtaking, it's so gorgeous. So shout out to her, I'll link her below and today's class is going to be a juicy vinyasa, twisty juicy vinyasa, everybody's favorite. So if you have any digestive issues, bloating, stomach aches, stomach pain, stuck energy, stagnant energy, spinal issues, postural issues, you know, twists are good for everything, releasing energy, uh, healing and so forth. So that's what is going to be today's class. Let's begin, inhale and open the hands towards the front, standing here equal stance, feel the two sides of the body and feel the energy radiating from the palms of the hands forward, your truth, deepening the breath, connecting to the core, engaging the TVA, the transverse abdominis, which is starts from the spine and wraps around your body, so it's the sides as well, not just the front. It's the entire core, wraps around your body, pulling the belly in and up to connect it. Mula Bandha connecting, deepening the breath, lengthening through the crown of the head. Let's sit back in chair and reach over the head. Exhale, folding forward. Keep your knees slightly bent. Step in plank. Press the heels away from you. Oftentimes, plank is described standing forward with the with the heels pushing forward, no, you want to press into your heels, you want st strength in this pose, you don't want to hover over and just kind of kind of hold it, you want to own it, you want to feel this pose with strength. And when I look down at the mat, I keep seeing, of course, new details because I just received it. There's little frogs here, like on our walk, and little sprouts. The sprout of consciousness, probably. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, open. Lengthen the tailbone here. Open, open, open. Widen the back, widen the upper back. <coughs> back to Chaturanga and downward facing dog. This is quite a bit of a of scene to meditate on.
lengthening the tailbone as high as you can. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, come up really white, white high lunge, white step. Exhale, left hand on the floor, spin the right arm up and reach over the head, really lengthening through here. I can so feel this because yesterday I did our previous twisting class that went online last week. It really works all the small muscles out. All right, side plank. And try to stack everything on top of each other, shoulders on top, hips on top, feet on top, squeezing the inner thighs towards the midline, finding that midline axis. All right, plank, chaturanga, up dog. Maybe look over, one shoulder over to the other, a few more. Great. Chaturanga. Down dog. Exhale. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through. White stance. High lunge. Take as big of a step as you can. Feel it on, on the poses. Find the grace, but find the strength in the poses. Lower the right hand down, left arm up. Reaching over the head. Grateful, for, grateful to your body for all that it's doing for you. Whether you realize it or not. That you breathe even when you don't think about it. That your heart is beating that your kidneys are working, that your liver is working while well, you're occupied with other stuff and not even giving it your attention. Alright, side plank. Breathe. Breathe. Breathe in gratitude. Exhale gratitude. Squeeze in towards the midline. Find your middle axis. Plank. Let's bring the right knee into the chest and take a mini chaturanga forward. Left knee into the chest, mini chaturanga, just half a chaturanga, one more. One more, good. And this time, Clear your elbows out and take a right knee out to the left, push up, left knee push up, a little bit of a twist here, feel the twist, good, alright, press your back down dog. Your breath is your warm up here, your breath is your prayer, it's your gratitude. Mantra, it's your intention, awareness through the breath, keep the gratitude going. Keep connecting to the present moment, but not just the present moment, the divinity of the present moment. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. High lunge. Cultivating beautiful thoughts, beautiful intentions, beautiful visions. Let's bring the hands in prayer and twist. Stay in this twist and take off the left leg to the front a few times. So stay here. One, two, Three, four, five, and last. Hold your twist lunge. 
All right, left hand to the ground. Take a side plank. Right, knee to right elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog, really feel it. Chaturanga, downward dog. Breath, anchoring yourself to the divinity of the present moment. Spread the fingers wide open. Feel the vibrancy of your body. Tailbone lifting. Hands are really, really active and important in down dog. The hands are very important, they're your foundation. The feet are your foundation here. You have two foundations. Lightness through the body. Your body is effortless here, standing effortlessly in this pose. Let's take the left leg up, step it through. Come up. Nice connected breath. Hands in prayer. Twist over to your left and really feel that twist. Feel the back heel pressing away. Feel the strength of your legs and your body yielding here into this twist with strength and flexibility. Fluidity. Open the chest here, widen the back, lengthen through the crown of the head. And we're going to place the right hand on the floor. Side plank, strong. Feel it. Sophie, come over. Come over, lay here. And we're going to go Knee to elbow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Strength and poise and plank. Chaturanga, upward dog. Chaturanga, downward dog. Mulabandha working with your breath. Coming back to your breath, to the divinity of the present moment, to the awakeness of your body. Thanking gratitude, thanking every cell in your body. Every cell in your body is conscious. Connecting with them. They work for you, so Communicate with the cells in your body. From here we're gonna walk to the front. Straight back, coming up. Taking stance, strong stance. Soft knees and we're gonna Bring fluidity in the spine, moving the spine and also moving the pelvis. So the pelvis is moving back and forth, back and forth, swaying and then bringing the spine into this pelvic movement, bringing the hands. So we're also bringing more fluidity into the spine. Mula Bandha. Mm -hmm. 
let's move side to side here. Really bringing a lot of fluidity into the spine, softening all the connective tissues and all the bones that are kind of stuck and holding the spine in a particular alignment, coming out of that and finding the natural alignment we had as babies. In the healthy stage of our body moving. Let's take plow and bringing the moving the pelvis side to side. From here, bring your hands right in front of the ears and gently tap here. Everybody is into face yoga, so let's let's hold the plow at the plie and move the lymph down. We're moving the lymph from the main drainage point for the face down the neck into the lymph nodes here. You can tap them, tap them, tap them, tap them, right above the collarbones. While you're holding your strong plea and massage a little more. Really gentle, soft massage. The lymph is right underneath the skin, so don't press hard. Great. Hands by the hairline, massage in circular points and move through the scalp towards the crown of the head. Massage here. Ruin your hair. <laughs> Ruin. And from behind the ears, Gently massaging upwards, gently massaging upwards, gently massaging upwards. Let's grab the eyebrows with all the fingers and move up, move up, move up, move up. Bring your knuckles on the thumbs, underneath the eyes, over the nose and out, over the nose and out. Great. Bring your hands right at the top, the crown of the head, and hold here, pulsating. Great. All right. Moving to towards the rest of the twisty class, side to side, reaching, lower down, plank, chaturanga, upper dog, chaturanga, downward dog, right leg comes up, step it through, high lunge, hands in prayer, twist, reach, clasp under. Step to the front, come up in a twist, bird of paradise. Lower down, step it back. Reach over the head. From here, bring your left ankle over the right knee. Hands in prayer. Twist. Elbow into the foot. Sole the foot. Shall we go for a little arm balance? And back to that prayer twist. And slowly come up, balancing on one leg. Wrap that left leg around the right leg. Right elbow to the knee. And twist to your left. Alice funky twist is what I call them, or AK funky twist, was it? Coming out. <laughs> I cheated. I touched the wall. Opposite side. Goodness. Yeah. And warrior tree. Warrior tree. Hands on the ground. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Take the left leg up, step it through. High lunge, hands in prayer twist. Clock. 
clasp under and really really open that chest step it in and slowly come up Step it back. Coming out with one step, we're going to bring the right ankle over the left knee. And here, sit back, feel your hips softening, elbow to the sole of the foot. Lower down for for arm balance. And coming back up in the prayer. And slowly standing up, grab the leg around. AK funky twist. <laughs> Who's with me? with me here. Focus on the ground at first, your drishti, and then change the drishti. That's, that's when the sh shift of balance happens. And opposite side. Focus. Alright, All right, good enough. Warrior three. Plank. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the right leg up and open the right hip on top of the left. Drop it behind. Wild thing. Side plank. We're going to lift the right leg up and touch it in the front of uh, the body and in the back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, great, let's step the right foot to the front, high lunge. Both hands coming on the outside of the feet, step on the outer edges of the feet and twist here, take the right arm up and plank, chaturanga. Up dog, children, down dog. Left leg comes up open, step it down. Wild thing. Breathe into every cell of your body. Side plank. And from here we're going to prepare to touch the floor in front of the body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This really engages your glutes and abductors. And step to the front. Come up, high lunge. Here we're going to bring the hands all the way over to the left. And step onto the outer edges of your feet. And take the left arm up. Ooh, that's one powerful twist. Back to the front. 
Step it back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Exhale. And let's lower down on the ground, lifting here to engage the core from the posterior. Clasp the hands behind you. Lift, lift, lift. Lift, lift, lift. Lift, lift, lift. And bend the knees, grab your ankles, lift again. Lift, 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 lift. Press open and let's let's see if I can do it on the wood floor. Glide on one side, the shoulder opening, and opposite side. Ooh, it's a little firm. And back to center. Great. From here. Soles of the feet together. Great. Can you bring your hands uh, by your um, by your sides and lift in one straight pace. And let's jump the feet to the front on the outside of the hands. Yogic squat. One of my top. Top 10, I should say, favorite poses, but it might make that top 5. It may very well make it. Open the chest. Widen the upper back. Alright, back to plank and chaturanga and upper dog and chaturanga and downward dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. High lunge. Hands clasping behind you. Open here. We're going to lower the chest over the thigh and spin the right shoulder up in a twist with a chest opener. Shall we continue with the balancing? So spread your toes open that you're balancing here and we're going to step into uh, revolving half moon with a clasp. All right, step it back. I want to drop the knee down, open the chest, look back, exhale. Plank and chaturanga, upward dog, chaturanga, downward dog. Take the left leg up, step it through. High lunge. Exhale, the hands behind you, clasping, open, look up, lower the chest, spin it, left shoulder opens, hands press away from you. And shifting the weight onto the left leg, revolving half moon with a clasp, do your best here. Step it back, reach up, lower the knee, and open back. Exhale. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Let's bring the left hand in the center of the mat, right hand to the ankle, opposite ankle, left ankle. Look underneath your shoulder. Change sides. Back to down dog.
in on the right leg up, step it through warrior one, coming up, straighten the leg, triangle pose, revolving triangle, left hand down, back, warrior one, straighten the leg, triangle pose, revolving triangle, excuse me, to hear Sophie snore again in a class. My bulldog is snoring in the background. If you hear something strange, unwrap, bring the legs in front of you, anchor your heels. If you're new to my classes, I'll explain this, otherwise you know this pose, it's a martial arts twist. Anchoring the heels, the hips come off the ground, hands behind your forehead to the ground. So there is a full spinal twist here, opposite side. One more time, he'll stay on the mat. One more time. Forward bend. Mm -hmm. 
let's lower down onto the ground supine twist experiencing after all this twisting the nervous system gets a break so experiencing the emptiness at the moment opposite side bridge to wheel Lowering down, soles of the feet together. Plow. to shoulder stand to plow knees over the ears slowly lower down Lowering the right leg down, left knee in. For a very intentional bicycle, changing, pull the belly in, nothing popping out here, flattening the belly, pulling the two sides, the two sides of the transverse abdominis in towards the midline. Elbows back, activating the core. Last one. Hug your knees into your chest. Give them a circle. Happy baby. Flex your feet, grab your ankles or the other edges of your feet. And release for Shavasana. Make yourself comfortable. Now, in order to find a little more ease into Shavasana, let's tense the body and even bring the knees into the forehead, tense the face, tense everything from the toes all the way to the lips, everything is tensing, hold your breath in. And with an ha, ha, release. And now you can tense the shoulders only and let them drop. Most people tend to keep the shoulders here tense, so that should help you relax them a little more. Open the chest, let the pelvis be relaxed, let the feet drop to the sides, and stay here for just a minute or so, a few moments of eternity. Allowing yourself to be empty.
Returning the breath to normal, letting go of the dry breath. Concentrating your awareness and focus towards the third eye. So the intention, the breath, the focus is there in the third eye area, right between and just above the eyebrows. Feeling the lightness of your body as you inhale and exhale through the third eye, keeping the eyes closed. The body becomes from heavy to light, floating. The third eye is vibrant, opening. Vibrating at a higher and higher frequency. Opening the vision inward and outward towards the universe, the cosmos. Inward towards the inner cosmos. It is all one, the inner and the outer. Opening out wide, going in deep. Feeling your body and your consciousness as one with the universal consciousness. And let's wiggle the toes and fingers, keeping the eyes closed, moving the head side to side. Let your head drop to the right chin. Chin parallel to the shoulder, opposite side. So keeping the neck elongated, back to center, soft and light. Roll onto one side, still keeping the eyes closed. Embryo in the womb pose, so curl in into yourself, extending the umbilical cord, the spiritual umbilical cord down into the center of the earth and finding that center of the earth as a place in space in the universe, as a place in the universe. So extending it into the universe, that umbilical cord as you, the universal child, the universe child. Use your hand to press yourself up to a seated, seated pose, comfortable seated pose, hands over the knees, facing up, palms of the hands facing up. Let's bring the hands over the neck in the lip area, one hand over the lips, one over the neck. For always being connected to the truth, to universal truth, not human truth, universal truth.
over the third eye for always seeing and being connected to the truth. over the head, hands over the head, palms so of the hands pressing, hands over the heart, let's bow to our hearts, to our spiritual hearts, to our soul, let's bow to our soul, and heart is a representation of the soul for her forgiveness, generosity, and love. Namaste. And you can blink your eyes open. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you soon.